Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay kung paano mag-solve ng mga word problems involving linear equations in one variable. Okay, so let's start. So, sa lesson natin, we're going to solve four types of uh, problem involving linear equations in one variable. So, unahin natin yung number problem. Okay, so sabi dito, the sum of two numbers is 24. The larger number is 5 times the smaller number. Find the smaller number. Okay, so by the way, before we start, uh, let me remind you yung ating mga prerequisite skill na kailangan dito. Of course, uh, number one is translating English sentences into mathematical sentences. And then the uh, other one is solving linear equations in one variable with the application of uh, different properties involving equalities. Okay, so proceed na tayo. So, in this case, uh, we're going to uh, represent yung uh, dalawa natin given. So, based dun sa problem, so mas complicated yung uh, given na larger number kasi meron pa siyang uh, condition. So, unahin natin si uh, smaller number. So, we'll uh, go to represent that as x. Okay. Kasi yung mas larger number nakabase doon sa smaller number. Kasi sabi, the larger number is 5 times the smaller da, uh, number. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki siya ng uh, limang ulit doon sa ating uh, smaller number. So, another one or another thing, ang given ay kapag pinagsama natin yung uh, smaller at larger number o kapag in natin sila, ang sum down niya ay 24. Okay, so from here, meron na tayong linear equation in one variable. So, we can now solve for the uh, solution based dun sa ating nabuong equation. Simplify natin yung left side. So, we'll have 6x equals 24. Then, we can now apply division property of equality. So, we're going to divide both sides by 6 para makuha natin yung value nung x. So, dividing both sides. So, this will uh, left us x sa left side. 24 divided by 6. So, we have 4. Okay, so eto na ngayon yung value ng smaller number. So let's say we want to know what is the value of the larger number. So simply sa substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating value ng x dun sa larger number. Yung representation yung 5x. Then simplify natin, so eto na yung value ng ating larger number. Okay, so another thing. Gusto natin i-check yung ating sagot. So, kopyahin lang natin yung original equation. And then, we'll just simply plug in or substitute yung nakuha nating value. So, this is 4. Ang 5x is uh, 20. So, equals 24. Simplify natin yung left side. So, we have 24 equals to 24. Okay, so para sa pangalawa nating problem, we have here an example of an uh, age problem. Okay, so basahin natin. So we have, uh, Brian is one-fourth as old as his father. Next year, their ages will total 42 years. How old is each now? Okay. So in this type of problem, so itong representation natin will start doon sa... Uh, pwedeng uh, gumawa tayo ng tabular form. So, yung uh, dalawang karakter natin sa problem, si Brian, then yung kanyang father. And then, dito sa second column natin, ito yung uh, ating magiging present age. Ano yung edad nila ngayon. And then, yung age next year sabi dun sa problem okay so ang present age niya ngayon or nila sabi dito is uh, identify uli natin ano yung mas simple 
So, ang mas simple dito ay yung edad nung kanyang tatay. So, we're going to represent that as X. Kasi mas complicated yung kay Brian. Kasi sabi, Brian is one-fourth as old as his father. So, ibig sabihin, one-fourth ng age nung tatay niya. Ibig sabihin, one-fourth times X. Okay, so next year, kung ang uh, edad ng tatay niya is X, so mag a lang tayo ng 1. Same with uh, Brian. So magiging 1 fourth X plus 1. So we now have here yung representation natin. So pwede na tayong magkaroon dito ng uh, equation or linear equation. Okay, so paano natin gagawin yung linear equation? So, we're going to base dito sa, kasi ang tinatanong is, or isa pang given, next year daw, ang edad nila, ang total ay 42 years. Ibig sabihin, kapag pinagsama natin to, so lagay natin, 1 fourth x plus 1, ito yung kay Brian, plus x plus 1, so ang edad nila is 42 years. So, ito yung ating magiging uh, working equation. So, pwede na natin i-simplify. So, we can combine itong uh, similar terms. So, magiging uh, 1 fourth x plus x plus 2 equals 42. Okay. So, we can now apply addition property of equality. So, magiging 1 fourth x plus x plus 2 plus negative 2 equals 42 plus negative 2. So, para ma-eliminate natin to mag a tayo sa kanya ng uh, opposite. So, pwede na natin i-cancel to and then simplify natin yung right side. So, we now have 1 fourth x plus x equals 40. Okay, so another thing. So, if you will notice, hindi natin pwedeng i-combine ito, although sila ay uh, similar terms, dahil, uh, although pwede naman, kasi mas complicated nga lang. So, pwede na natin uh, mag-apply tayo dito ng multiplication property of equality. So, we can now uh, multiply both sides by 4. So, para ma-cancel natin to kapag minultiply dito. So, meron pa tayong matitirang x and then mumultiply pa dun. So, plus 4x equals to 160. Simplify natin yung left side. So, we have 5x equals to 160. And then, we can uh, divide both side. Lagay natin dito. 5x equals 160. Divide both side by 5, division property of equality. So, we now have x equals to uh, 32. Okay. So, ano ba si x kanina? So, si x, ito yung edad nung kanyang tatay. So, ano ang magiging edad nung kanyang anak? So, based dun sa representation, so, 1 fourth Ang x natin is 32. 1 fourth ng 32 is 8. So, ito yung uh, edad ngayon ni eh. Brian. Okay. So, kung gusto natin uh, i-check, so, ganun din ang gagawin natin. So, kung i-check natin, so, dito tayo. So, magiging uh, ang 1 Fourth, ito, ito, using the original equation kanina. So, yung 1 fourth x is 8 plus 1. Then, etong x natin is 32 plus 1 equals 42. So, 8 plus 1, we have 9. 9 plus uh, 32. So, we have 41 plus 1. So, 42 is equal to 42. Okay, so for our third type of problem, we have uniform motion problem. Okay, so ito, iba naman ang atake natin dito. Uh, although, gagamit din tayo ng uh, tabular. So, 
remind muna natin. So, kapag uh, motion problem, so napaka-importante na familiar tayo dun sa formula o yung triangle natin ng inatawag na DRT. Kaya natin ng konti. DRT. Or in other words, distance is equal to rate times time. So, kung kukunin naman natin is rate o yung uh, speed. So, distance over time. So, kung uh, time naman ang hinahanap, so we now have distance over R. Okay. So, ito gagamitin natin in this type of problem. So, basahin natin. Two buses leave a station. One traveling at a rate of 60 kilometers per hour and the other at the rate of 65 kilometers per hour. In how many hours will they be 375 kilometers apart? Okay, so mag-ano muna tayo, uh, visualization muna. So let's say ito yung uh, station. Then uh, ito si, uh, let's say, bus A. At si bus B. So, bakit opposite ang direction? Kasi nga, based dun sa problem, at uh, 375 km apart. So, ibig sabihin, ang tinahak nilang direction ay magkaiba. Para maghiwalay sila ng 375 km uh, apart. So, ang tanong, kailan mangyayari? Ilang oras bago sila maghiwalay na ang distance nila sa isa't isa is... 375 km apart. Okay, so ilagay din natin na yung isa sa mga uh, umalis na bus, umalis siya by uh, with 60 kph and then yung isa 65 kph. Okay. So gawa tayo ngayon ng table. So ito si Bus A, ito si bus B. So, ang rate, time, then distance. So, ang rate ni A is 60 kilometers. Si uh, B, 65 kilometers. Ang time, so hindi naman nakadeclare kung anong time. So, we're going to represent that as X. So, sabi natin, distance is equal to rate times time. So, 60 times x, so we have 60x. And then, 65 times x, we have 65x. Okay. So, using this, makakabuo na tayo ng equation. Kasi pag uh, pinagsama natin yung uh, distance ni bus A plus distance ni uh, bus B, so, ang... Uh, Magiging uh, distance nila apart is 375 km. So, kailan mangyayari yun? Okay, simplify natin yung equation. So, 60x plus uh, 65x, we have 125x equals 375. Division property of equality, divide both sides by 125. So, this will be cancelled. So, we have x equals to 3. Okay, so ito yung na natin lagay doon. Ito yung oras. After 3 hours, sila ay 375 kilometers apart na. Okay, check natin. Again, using the uh, equation here. So, substitute natin 60 times 3 plus 65 times 3 equals 375. 60 times 3, we have 180. 65 times 3, we have 195. Equals 375. So, i-add lang natin to. So, this is equal to at 375, which is equal dun sa right side. Okay, so for our last type of problem, we have here a geometry problem. Okay, so basahin natin. The length of rectangle is 1 meter more than twice the width. 
The perimeter of the rectangle is 26 meters. So, find the length and the width of the rectangle. Okay. So, dito, ibang atake na naman ang gagawin natin. So, again, uh, representation natin, since ang pinag-uusapan natin is rectangle, so, identify uli natin dun sa given ano yung mas simple at mas komplikado. So, di, based dun sa problem, yung length ang medyo komplikado compare sa width. Ibig sabihin, ang width natin, pwede natin i-represent as x. So, ito x. Kasi, naka dependent sa kanya yung length. So, sabi sa given, the length of the rectangle is 1 meter more than twice the width. So, 1 meter more than twice the width. So, that is uh, 2x plus 1. So, ito yung length. 1 meter more than twice the width. Okay, so ito 2x plus 1. Okay, so another given. The perimeter of the rectangle is 26 meters. So, ibig sabihin, importante rin na familiar tayo sa formula ng perimeter ng rectangle. So, ang perimeter ng rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So, we now have here uh, the length and the width and then the perimeter. So, pwede na nating uh, substitute. So, ang perimeter is 26 equals 2. Ang length is 2x plus 1 plus 2. Ang width is x. Okay, simplify natin yung right side. So, we have 26 equals 2, distributive property over addition. So, we have 4x plus 2 plus 2x. Next, pwede pang isimplify yung right side, combining like terms. So, we have 26 equals to 6x plus 2. So, our main goal here is to isolate the variable. So, ibig sabihin... Uh, gagamitan natin ng addition property of equality para maalis natin itong positive to sa right side. So, plus negative to both side. Okay, maka-cancel na siya. So, 26 plus negative to is 24 equal 6x. Okay. So, kopyain ko lang dito. Then, lastly, division property of equality. So, divide both sides by 6. So, we now have 24 divided by 6 is 4. Then, we can now interchange. Meron uling property. Symmetric ang uh, gagamitin natin dito. So, x is equal to 4. So, meron na tayong value ng width. Okay. So, using that, pwede na natin makuha yung length. So, 2 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, ito na yung length. So, ito yung length. Ito yung width. So, using the original uh, equation, pwede natin i-check. Ito ang gagamitin natin. Okay, so we have 26 equals to 2 times uh, ang x natin is 4 plus 1 plus 2 times x which is 4. So we have 26 equals to 2 times 2 times 4, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 8. So, 26 equals 2 times 9, we have 18, plus 8 is 26. Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, meron kayong natutunan sa lesson natin ngayong araw. And feel free to share this video to others, especially sa iba pa nating classmate para mas marami pa tayong matulungan iba. Until next time!